Hi. I'm glad you're here. This week I want to talk about a database that uh, you'll find uh, helpful as you think about the final project in this class. And it's called the Mental Measurements uh, Yearbook Database. You know, I remember when I was uh, an undergrad student at Ball State University and I took a test and measurements class and then again I did uh, took it again in grad school and at the time I, at work I was uh, in training and development and I was doing a problem solving training and I was introduced to this database and I was pretty excited because of all the different tests that were available now at back then in Ball State we had a small library of uh, hard copies in the psychology department and we could go to the big library and actually use the, the entire database but um, and at that point in time it was not electronic yet but anyway I found um, the Watson Glazer critical thinking appraisal and uh, it was a standardized test and I was able to use it at work and what I was able to do was uh, um, give a pretest to all the participants and and um, then they go through the training and then I would give a post test and then I used a control group and was able to demonstrate a significant increase in scores of the participants who went through the training so that was uh, pretty powerful information that I could uh, present to leaders uh, that validated the, the problem solving training so it was supported database decision making as well so it was empirical evidence supporting the training that we were doing and so this was a, a pretty useful and uh, powerful uh, database and so that's what I want to share with you today so if I uh, start here let's uh, just look at the Burroughs uh, Center for Testing and and I, um, I have the uh, link in the transcript but here you can see uh, this is just about the Burroughs Center um, if I click on uh, there's a lot of information here you can see in this menu if I click here and say information for reviewers uh, okay so it, it publishes reviews of hundreds of tests each year in their mental measurements yearbook. So that's the database we're going to look at. And you can see here uh, reviewers frequently asked questions. Uh, reviewers guide this shows you uh, um, the guide used uh, for reviewers. So now if I go back up here we see notice they have frequently asked questions. Um, what is the mental measurements yearbook. Well, the yearbook includes timely consumer oriented test reviews, providing evaluative information to promote and encourage informed test selection. Well, that's exactly what we want. So now, um, this shows you a little bit about Burroughs. Let's go in, let's move into the library. Here I am in the Capella Library, and I want to start right here. And I want to go down and click on databases A to Z. So I make that click. And next I want to go, you can see they've got them A to Z. I want to click on M for mental measurements yearbook. And I can get to this right here. I click on that. And up comes uh, the database. Um, let me see if I can uh, adjust my screen a little bit here. There, now I go into this database, and so let's say right away, I've heard a lot about the MBTI, and I'm wondering, what is that? So I type in MBTI. Now, over in this field here, these are what are called field codes, and all field code is, it's a code that tells the database the nature of what it is you've typed in. So I typed in the MBTI. So right here I'm telling, I'm using the field code test name. I'm just telling the database this is the name of a test I'd like to find. And I click search. And then notice right away, well, this, I uh, get, uh, you know, more than one hit here. 
but this is really the one I want is the Myers-Briggs type indicator uh, form in this is the standard test and uh, so I can click on this and um, you can see it tells me about form M who's the publisher CPP what's the purpose the test categories personality population notice it says ages 14 and older the reason for that is uh, the reading level is uh, uh, written at an eighth grade level if you wanted to test say for example grade school kids you'd use a Murphy Mize guy or use it's written at second grade uh, reading level tells you how long the average time is to take um, scoring options and there are choices uh, self-scoring you, know, you can use a template score it gives you all, even the pricing information so you can figure out if it's going to be affordable for your project then notice it has uh, two reviews here and then you can see it goes into all the detail of the reviews now let me go back let's back up here if I go back to the list uh, this, by the way, step two is an advanced version of this. This one, uh, where the Myers-Briggs has four scales, the step two has subscales to each of these scales. So, for example, what this one does, it reduces all differences. So a person is either extroverted or introverted. This one here brings the differences back out. So this would show in what ways a person is extroverted in what ways they're introverted because most people have a combination of both characteristics so I'm just showing you how useful this database is now let's look at another one let's say okay I, for my project I'm wondering about job satisfaction alright so for the field code um, I might come over here and I'll say okay that's the purpose is job I want to measure job satisfaction and I uh, hit search and right away I get uh, um, hits come up on this one here you can't see but I got five hits um, and I like this job descriptive index I've used it on quite a few consulting jobs it's a very good instrument it's empirical um, Patricia Smith was uh, the original developer. She's now retired. It comes out of Bowling Green State University. It's sold in the Department of Psychology. And by the way, it's very reasonably priced because of that. So it's a very affordable instrument. It also, another thing in organizations, notice it says 5 to 15 minutes. And 15 minutes is long. It's just an adjective checklist, so it doesn't take people very long to take this. And the scales stand along, stand alone, so you can eliminate scales that aren't relevant. Like for example, I've used this in unionized organizations, and it has satisfaction with pay. We eliminate that scale because that's negotiated, so we don't want to uh, bring up satisfaction on something negotiated unless the leaders want to see that. Um, notice. Uh, uh, also, uh, they give you the right to um, reproduce this where you pay them a fee and then just reproduce it, which is easy to use. So you can do any type of searches here. Notice uh, um, you can use operators here, operators such a, and or not, or you can use field codes like I've used here. So this is an excellent database. I encourage you to... Um, play around with it and look at uh, uh, constructs that you might be interested in in your final project and see if there aren't any uh, standardized tests that uh, might be helpful uh, in your project. And uh, once again, I, uh, I attached a transcript to this. Thanks.